just talk about something that recently read up on. Now, now I'm a weed smoker. A lot of you know weed is super popular, so I just wanted to read uh, a short clip from this article I came across. So. There's a symptom called amotivational syndrome in which chronic cannabis users become apathetic, socially withdrawn, and perform at a level of everyday functioning well below their capacity prior to their marijuana use. Although the depressed person may feel relief from their symptoms, this may be an illusion of well-being if the person loses motivation and productivity. As, mar as marijuana use becomes more normalized and less demonized, demonized, I think we also need to be more honest about some of the drawbacks experienced users know can occur. This is one that crops up with most regular users, myself included. Sometimes we gotta just take a break and let our serotonin or, and or dopamine levels replenish. Hey everybody, Sam Boy here. Just wanted to drop in on this little clip uh, from my podcast, It's All Relative, which is available on YouTube, Spreaker, SoundCloud. Uh, you can even find it on Facebook. It's a private group, but anybody can find the videos and you can ask to join if you want to be able to share, like, comment, and all that other good stuff. Uh, and plus see some of the other videos that are just more my opinions on current events and the culture and whatnot that aren't necessarily a part of the It's All Relative podcast sphere. But anyway, just wanted to drop in and give a little clarification on this part of, of my clip. And I'm so glad that I double checked this before blindly uploading it. But uh, half of the quote that you just heard me say in reference to a motivational syndrome and the article in question um, was just my opinion. And I because I've completely forgot that I was reading from a, uh, I was reading from a screenshot of my Facebook post, because that is a Facebook post that you're looking at. Um, and I don't know why it is I didn't make the distinction when I was reading it aloud at that time, but yeah, half of what I was saying was directly quoted from the article, and half of it was my opinion giving context as what to do with this uh, supposed information. Um, but just also keep in mind that f further in this clip, I provide uh, scientific research that disputes the claims of a of a motivational syndrome presented by the author um, but still being able to talk about sobriety and taking breaks from your vices your indulgences i felt was still a worthwhile conversation and so i don't want people to come away with the wrong conclusion or you know think that i'm a charlatan or trying to be duplicitous or just not you know do the least amount of research to make sure i'm not talking out of my ass uh but anyway hope you enjoyed the rest of the clip be sure to tell me your thoughts thoughts um and yeah be sure to let everybody in your life know and uh yeah i will see y'all next time bye and so oh, sorry about that so yeah absolutely and <clears throat> you know talking about a point that they even brought up earlier you know it's like how do you you know like okay you need to like find yourself and figure yourself out and it's like well what you know like like okay exactly what the hell does that mean like you can tell somebody to be confident or let them be confident like, what the fuck do you do to actually become that and it's just like it's like, yeah, on one hand, sobriety, I think, is overrated. I'm still going to get lit most days of the week. But at the same time, it's like there's a balance to where, you know what I'm saying, you don't want to be so zonked out that, you know what I'm saying, you can't, you can't, you know what I'm saying, if you're walking down the street or if you come up, if you just happen to pass somebody, you know what I'm saying, there may be an opportunity for you to have conversation and different opportunities will come up, you know, from these, from these, you know, small little moments where you'll be too, like, in the fucking clouds to like even be able to string together a sentence or be aware of what the hell's going on. And so like a big part of helping of myself becoming more motivated and more focused on my goals is just saying, dude, just put the fucking weed down for a little bit. Like just go a little bit further in, in your day without just getting high. And then it's just like, it's, it's the less you do it, like you just kind of wean yourself off so you don't even demand it as much. You know what I'm saying? And it's the same thing with, you know, certain foods, like you gotta cut back on, you know, like as, fried, as good as fried foods and shit are, you know, you can't, you can't, you know, you can, you can OD on it, you can OD on anything, including, you know, including fast food, so. Just if you use the drugs, whatever, it's like everybody's gotta, you know, gotta, gotta, you know, maintain their own balance, but it's every once in a while, just to, you know, take a step back from shit and just, you know, there's some things that are only clear to a clear mind, you know what I'm saying, so. Any, any comments on that? So, I mean, like, Oftentimes, somebody would, would, like, this isn't my point of view, but, but somebody would say in response to that statement, it's like, oh, look at Michael Phelps, look at Michael Phelps, look at Michael Phelps, like, you know, he, he's not having that withdrawal, look how much he does, he's got all those old medals, but like, 
are they following like Michael Phelps and like later on down the line or what he's up to now? And is he a regular user? Is he as frequent as the subjects in that article were, you know, were, were using? So, you know, it, it's still, you know, I, 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 I think it's still with a grain of salt, but, you know, at the same time, you know, it's still like too much of a good thing. You know, it's like like you like you previously said, and then talk about dopamine levels. Like you know, we're seeing this as we sip. You know, we're well, seeing this as you're sipping. You're sipping super poison right there. Yeah. You got you got monster energy drinking. I got like one dollar CVS ginger ale in my hand. Yeah, supposedly there's not a lot of sugar in it, but I got sugar out. Oh fuck! There's actually multiple servings in this can. <laughs> God damn it! I got the I got 37 grams, bro. Right here. I think I'm pushing 16 right now. So I got like twice that much. God damn it! We yeah. Yeah. Um, I think at the end of the day, if you do smoke weed, like you just gotta gauge yourself. You just gotta be responsible about it. Like I only take it after after work which means I'm high at school, but I notice that I focus more, but when I'm not on weed, I chit chat with my neighbor. But when I am, I'm focused on the teacher and I'm asking more relatable questions than just being dumb and like, talking to my neighbor. But as much as I want to smoke it during the day when I'm working, because that's when I'm most like stressed, because I, I deal with like developmentally disabled seniors, Sometimes they have their behaviors and they're just like, oh my god, I need something right now to calm me down so I can calm this person down. But I won't take it because that's someone's responsibility. Like, I know how I am when I'm high, but I'm, I'm not going to do that, you know? So I wait, I wait until I'm done with work and then do your business. Like, like you said, like, hold off a little bit, do what you got to do first, and then congratulate yourself or, like, reward yourself with whatever we take or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, whatever your vice is. <laughs>